Hey guys, MTash here, and before the video begins, I just wanted to let you guys know that there is still a giveaway going on for the ViewSonic XG270 QG, one of the best monitors on the market. It is a 1ms response sign, 165 hertz, 27 inches, 1440... Guys, I could list it all, but if you want to enter and win this, all you have to do is head over to the ViewSonic Gaming Instagram. You can see their Instagram right here, ViewSonic Gaming. Let's get them to 5,000 followers. All you have to do is follow them, click on this picture with the MTASH logo, and hashtag MTASHED. Then, let us know what your favorite feature of the XG270 QG is. And you're in. They're gonna pick someone, they're gonna DM you, you're gonna win one of the best monitors in gaming. Now let's get to the content. I have to say, I am the weirdest mixture right now of like, Nerd <laughs> and bro. I mean look at look at this guy. I gotta take the look okay, I gotta tell you something. It's a new year and I started new me a few weeks ago. I've been training my buddy at the gym. We've been working out. I've been I've been going to the gym quite a bit. I mean look okay, okay, I don't know. Am I gonna get bad for it? Look at I'm starting to get the six pack. Guys, it's a new year, it's a new me, and we gotta make some new content. We gotta make some brand new content. And today's video is Guns I Wish They Would Buff is going to be one of the newest series on the channel because I'm going to really have to get creative because Destiny uh, <laughs> is getting a little slow. I'm not going to lie. It's getting a little slow. And if I want to entertain you guys, I got to do some stuff different. And so today's episode is Things I Wish Bungie Would Buff. Episode number one, The Ostringer. Now, I want to talk about 140s as a whole. I want to talk about this archetype of weapon because 140 RPMs don't have a very big place. Now, there's a couple things I want to note. Number one, holy cow, is that thing not sexy? I mean, you cannot tell me that that thing isn't gorgeous. Let me just, just don't even look at the perks yet. Okay, don't even look at the perks. Just, this gun is, is damn gorgeous, right? And I want to use this gun. I do. I truly want to use this gun, and I want to showcase one of my favorite perks in the game. And it doesn't come on very many weapons. Like, I, it, it's probably on like five weapons in the game. Eye of the Storm. This weapon becomes more accurate and boosts handling as your health gets lower. Now, all it takes is a shot or something, like a shot and a half, two shots, and you're going to get the biggest boof. Boof? The biggest boost to handling, to accuracy, you're gonna be able to not flinch. Eye of the Storm is one of the best dueling perks in the game. It's, a, it's insanity, and it's not on enough weapons. So Bungie, next season, if you're trying to get some new interesting cool guns, Eye of the Storm, we'll take it. Cause right now I can only get it on this piece of shit. All right, listen, when the Ostringer first came out, uh, there weren't a lot of other options or a lot of great options or easily farmable options to have some top tier weapons. Range finder, eye of the storm, accurized rounds, you can get small bore, you can get full bore, you get range master work stacked right on there. This thing had some insane range, but with the recent nerfs, the range is pretty much the same as every other hand cannon. Even though I am maxing this thing out pretty well, it's like a couple of meters more than a low range weapon. If I'm looking in my vault, something like this, uh, this rose here, where's the rose? This rose here, it's got lower range, it's, it's fine. This thing's got like a meter or so less range, like two meters maybe. And I feel like if I'm stacking all the stats I could possibly stack to get range, there should be a little bit more value here. And unfortunately, they've really taken that away. Range on hand cannons almost isn't as important as like stability now, which is kind of crazy because it used to be the end all be all. Now it's still important, but the Ostringer lost a lot of its value. And honestly, so did something like the Duke. The Duke was, um, you know, it's a, it's a long range, heavy hitting weapon. And unfortunately, the Duke as well it doesn't really have that range anymore. You used to be able to push this thing out to 38, 40 meters, and now it's kind of trash because if you're going up against a pulse rifle, if you're just going up against almost any gun in the game, 
a 180 RPM, sorry, a 110 RPM hand cannon. It just doesn't bring enough to the table. And that's why I want to talk about my boy Ostringer. Now, if you look at the spare rations, I mean, I got 4,000 kills on this thing almost. It is a 150 RPM hand cannon. Now it does 68 damage to the head. And this 140, it's only 10 rounds less. This one does 70. If you want a three shot kill, you still have to land three headshots, but slower than this one. Now 10 rounds per minute is, is not a lot. Right? That's, that's quite a small amount of trigger pulls in a minute, and in a duel, we're talking about fractions of a second. But those fractions of a second matter when you're playing really good people, and there's no real reason to use the Austria when you could just use something like a spare rations. There is no reason to really use an Ostringer, especially in the current sandbox, because it doesn't have that crazy range. Now, when this thing came out, I mean, People were popping off with the Austrian. You're hitting people from a mile away. This thing was deadly. Absolutely incredible. And I was using it as my main weapon. I mean, I only have 105 kills on this one, but I've had a ton of different Austrians. I was farming tons of these. I got 600 kills on this one. And, um, you know, until I farmed for my spare rations and replaced them, Austringer was like the best hand cannon. Let me just show you something. Let me just show you something really quickly. I've been sitting here for 15 minutes trying to make a vid. You would think that I'd give up, but I'm a piece of shit. All right, so this is interesting. We've got a rose. We've got a spare rations. This guy is actually using a 140, which is awesome. He's using ace of spades though. And then we've got a thorn and we've got a not forgotten. 140s don't appear to be very popular. But this is like, I, I love the feel of these, or at least I used to. I used to love the feel of these, or at least, I, I don't know, I guess the feel hasn't changed, it's just the range on it is a big piece of trash now. In pretty much every single duel, I'm going to take this game, I'm at a disadvantage. Um, now, if I'm landing my shots, it's not going to be the end of the world. I, I kill them. I killed him. I, I did it. I did it. But man, that was that was spooky. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you can't you can't miss headshots with this thing, or else it's over. You miss a headshot, it's over. I'm dead. I, I'm I'm not dead. It's I, I it's a miracle. Nice. The other thing too. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about this as well. Is when someone can shoot faster than you. If he pulls that trigger before me, right before I shoot, guess what happens? You flinch. Or, yeah. Or they just miss their shots. Um, am I the shotgun king, question mark? Listen, if I'm in a duel with someone and I'm pulling the trigger as fast as I can, but their, their trigger just goes faster than mine, they're gonna flinch me before every single one of my shots. Which is a, which is a, it's a problem. There's a new meta in Destiny, and that is shoot first, ask questions later. The person who lands the first shot is going to come out in the duel a lot of the time. All right. I, I don't know how this guy has two kills at the very start of the game. Rose, 150. Okay. Amazing. Tri oh, 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 God. Oh. The Rose! Okay. Uh. Okay. Season rank 28. Okay, listen. Listen, I haven't been playing that much. It's been the holidays. Yeah. Don't roast me about my season rank. I, I, I'm i just, I'm kind of bored. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little burnt out. All right, headshot, headshot, headshot. Easy game. I still got it, though. You, you, he, oh, he, uh. Okay, he's dead. Like, I, I, I did 45 damage from that range. Dude, get a connection. He, he was kill, killing me before. He, he, he was, did you watch that again? Just watch that again. From that range? Dude, get a connection. From that range? Dude, get a connection. Bros, again. Guys, okay, I'm, I'm falling apart here. It's four to nine. Right? Let me just switch. Let me see. Let me just check something really quickly. 
Oh, what's this? It's so easy to kill everyone now that, now that I've, oh! I knew you were gonna do that. I, it doesn't matter, I don't, I can body shot you if I need. I can body shot you if I need. I don't have to land headshots. I've got, I've got more, uh, uh mm, accessibility now. Get the hell off of me! I've got a 150, baby! It's the easiest game I've ever played! Oh, and that's a heavy machine gun. <laughs> and that's a fusion rifle. And that's a sniper rifle. Easy headshots. I just got shit on my special weapons at the end. And, and, and supers. Like, what the? Uh, 150s. Three shot headshot. 140s. Three shot headshot. Even if you bring this down to maybe 135. But you make it a two headshot, one body shot. I could see this working. If it's going to be three headshots. You need to push out the range again, because there's no reason to use the Ostringer over the spare rations in this sandbox. Or the Thorn. My god, the Thorn will destroy you. I... I understand that, uh, that maybe hand cannons as a whole needed to be reined in a little bit. But unfortunately, the Ostringer is now in a place where it, it its range has no value. There's no reason to use this over any other 150 RPM hand cannon in the game. It's just one of those things that it's like, I, Bungie, I wish you'd buff this a little bit. You know, bring it up. Just, just pop it up a little bit. Because I'd love to go back to use these 140s. I just, uh, don't know if I should, or could, or can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you next video. Whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Hey, by the way, it's been a whole year since I posted last. <laughs> it's a new year, new me. <laughs> 2020. Okay.